exact speed limit but it wasn't going slow definitely and before you know it I heard a big bang and his car was on the side and he climbed out they look like they climbed out safely thank God and uh, listen this is not the first time this crime this, thing, this accident uh, occurred in this situation because there's a little metal nail there a little bump there that keeps happening about two months ago also there's another guy who over also in that little metal nail for some reason when they're making that turn from, from coming from Owen, Pony Island Avenue, and making a left turn, this mound in the middle of the island it causes that a car, you know, it's very close mound, it's a blind spot also, and what happens is that the car just totally doesn't see it and it comes over because the mound is a perfect height for any car to drive over, it's high enough for it to drive over and high enough to flip it. It's not too high, they can't, it just swipes, side swipes the car, however, it just, it's, this is the second time I've been in this scenario. Once a friend called me and said, check this out. It was pretty scary, actually. At this time, thank God the guys walked out okay, looks like, as an elf. Even to my knees, that's as far as I know. And, uh, yeah, that's like I say, I hope for the best, because this thing definitely has to be removed sooner than later, because I take home here in one also, because it's an awkward size. It's not high enough to side swipe a car. However, there's a certain, it's a height that the car drives over it, but lifts the car over because it's continuing with the left turn. So on that angle of the car, it just slips over the car. And this is the, the second time I saw it. And there's one other time I saw online actually on a chat, the car was on top of it, thank God. It's not flipping over, it was on top of it. The center piece of the mound, the metal mound, was directly in the middle of the car, which is frightening, definitely frightening. And I just hope for the best, I pray for the families, that's have to say. And what is your name? Uh, my name is Max Ribner. Can you please spell it out for me? M-A-X, that's my first name. My last name is R-I-B as a boy, N-E-R. And how old are you? I'm 17. And are you from this area? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm from the neighborhood right over here. I'm about four miles, uh, 24 miles away. Right, right awesome. here. All right, yeah. thank you. All right, so let us know what happened. So I was sitting outside and I was watching this car turn and it hit the, the little curve and that car just ended up flipping over. So we were, everyone who was sitting outside with us, we all just ran over and I decided it would be a good idea to just jump on top and just pull her out of the car. So how did you feel? What was going through your head at the time? Honestly, I never did anything like that before, so it was very like nerve-wracking, but I felt like that was the best thing to do, was kind of just, you know, get the woman out of the car. And she didn't seem injured? Was How I mean, was her we condition? We asked her if she was injured, she said no. So we decided, you know what, if she's not injured, let's just get her out of the car before anything else goes wrong. And for somebody told me that this wasn't the first time this exact incident happened, were you aware about that? Oh uh, yeah, no, just on this corner there's always cars like hitting that barrier and they're always flipping and they're always just sitting on top of them, so it's like nothing new. Okay, so how do you feel right now since you've I'm safe? very nervous and my adrenaline is just like pumping and I don't know, I feel good. It feels good like helping somebody, so. Okay, and what is your name? I'm Lawrence Walter. Please spell it out for me. L A W R E N C E B A L T E R. And how old are you? I'm 23. And you are from this neighborhood, correct? Uh, close to this neighborhood. Okay, thank you. 
sir? Yeah, hi. The young, the young lady was driving, made a left turn from Avenue, Avenue O, and in the process of turning, she hit the center medium, and the car flipped onto its side. So That's it was only just one passenger? Only one passenger. Only the driver. Okay, and has she been transported to a hospital? Or I believe so. I'm not sure. I believe so. Okay, and what is your name, sir? My name is Nigel Mandel. Can you please spell it out for me? N-I-G-E-L, last name Mandel, M-A-N-D-E-L. And how old are you? I'm 48 years old. And are you from this area? I'm from the vicinity, yeah, from the Flatbush area. Alright, thank you.